You may know me for being a game developer and game designer. But today we're going to do something different. I'm learning Flutter. So today we're going to draw circles using Flutter on the screen. Of course, it's going to be an Android application. So let's see if we have an update. There is an update which I'm going to do later. I'm going to create a new project. I'll call this Circles for Fun. And as usual, it's going to take a long time because this is IntelliJ IDEA. Very well known for being very slow. I'll say Circles for Fun 2. Now, I'm, why am I saying two? Because this is my second Circles for Fun project. Drawing circles on, drawing a circle. I should say not circles, but circle drawing circle on the screen. And this is going to be game designer online, so I circle fun. Okay. So I'm also going to explain how Flutter works a bit. So if you're coming from Unity, you'll understand how things work. And Flutter is surprisingly easy. However, uh, it, is, it has so many widgets, it is very, very difficult to memorize every single thing. So you need to either have a cheat sheet or you need to practice a lot. I suggest using a cheat sheet, so that will work, hopefully. And the circle thing will actually teach you quite a lot about how Flutter works. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, start the Android emulator, which again is going to take probably 100 years. I'll start the video once it's done. Okay, so let me explain a bit. When Flutter starts, whenever it starts, the, the new project will have the code that you see in front of you right now. And if you run it on an Android emulator, then this is what will show. This is, this is the application that uh, Flutter builds for us. And this is a very good application you can understand a bit just by looking at it. So this is always the root. If you take a look at this, you can see it already says this widget is the root of your application. However, we are going to draw circles. So you can see that the home is going to be my home page. Of course, I'm going to delete all of this as we don't need it. And we're going to create a circle on the screen as well as it's some text. So right now I'm just going to return a container, which as its name suggests, is just a container. So container is basically in, 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 in Flutter, it is just something that contains another widget. So it's a widget that essentially contains another widget. So if I hot reload, which is actually a thing in Flutter, in Flutter that you can do, in Unity, you've got um, the play button. In Flutter, you also have a play button, but you need an Android emulator running at the same time. But right now, I'm just going to use the hot reload shortcut, and you'll see that there's nothing on the screen right now because it deleted all of the code. So I'm going to create a stateful widget, not a stateless widget. Now, there's a difference between stateful and stateless. Uh, stateless, essentially, are the widgets that whose state does not change and stateful are the are the are the uh, widgets which uh, s whose state can change so stateful and stateless widgets stateless the state can change and stateful states can change i'm just going to create a stateful widget just i, I don't really need this i can do this with a stateless widget as well i'm going to write circle for fun so another thing you may have noticed is that uh, there is something called team data. Over here, you can set the entire team of your, of your application. However, you will need to use uh, references and you need to know how to use Google for this because there's just so much that you can do in Flutter. So for example, even if I go ahead and 
write down text. There are, there are so many text themes that I can choose from. So text theme, and then I believe it takes a text theme game, uh, not game object uh, widget, but I'm not sure because I've completely forgotten. So I think it takes a text theme, I believe. And you can see that I'm correct. So, I mean, this you can't really memorize it or, or you can memorize it if you if you're like practice a lot but if you hit control space on you know, idea it'll give you an idea of um, what you can write here so body text it should be body text hang on a second it should be it should be body text yeah it should be body text so the body text is going to be uh, of uh, text style and again, this is how Flutter works. So body text needs to have a textile of color white. So this is actually the code that I need to write and this never changes. So in Flutter, this is always going to be the same. So for example, if I need to have body text two, I can have a body text two color of uh, black, but I'm not going to actually write that because we only need this. Uh, then we can also have a background color and I think the primary swatch um, I guess that's fine right now let me just uh, see if I can actually have, yeah background color so we can have a background color of uh, white there we go okay so that is going to set the background color of the application and this is how you can set the theme data of your of your application so you see I, I was returning a container now I'm going to return a circle for fun widget which is a custom widget that we're creating right now circle for fun there you go and you can see that this is actually a widget so I can pass it over here you can pass whatever widget you want inside of the home argument and this is exactly like all Flutter applications start like this and then home this is where you're going to actually write any custom widgets that you want and all of the logic for your app is going to go here uh, now right now i'm not talking about provider but i believe that material app you can also use something called a provider over here it's just that uh, i haven't practiced it enough so i can't show it but providers essentially uh, are a method of managing state in your flutter application where you change one thing and the entire app changes okay so let's go ahead and uh, start drawing some some circles so first thing that we need to do is we need to return a scaffold and not a container a scaffold is probably the most used widget in flutter because it basically gives the application its face you can say so the scaffold is going to take an app bar and the app bar is basically the bar that you see on top of Android applications. Most of them have it. And I'm going to return new app bar. So the app bar argument is going to take a new app bar. And the app bar has arguments as well. And this is going to take a background color of... Uh, now, how do I access the theme data? I use context, And context is basically... Well, it's context. It's build context. You don't need to know what it does, but... It, it is it is used by many widgets to find out where you are in the widget build and now we're going to say background color okay so now we have an app bar but we also need a title which what uh, this was basically going to tell the application what to write on the app bar so this will be a text widget i believe it's going to be a text widget right yes it's going to be a text widget and it's going to be a constant text widget but and it's going to say uh, circle for circle what the hell's wrong with me circle sir feeling very sleepy circle for fun and if I hot reload this now you can see that this appears so what is the oh sorry the background color should not be white it should be blue and there you go so now we have got an app bar. Now containers, these are slightly tricky. And unfortunately, I wish there were a lot of, I mean, there were good YouTube video tutorials which tell you 
about containers, but unfortunately, there are only a few. And it's all about just practicing and exploring what the different, um, different arguments can do. So now for an app bar, we've done the app bar. Now scaffold also takes a body argument. This is the body. So whatever you see here is going to be the body. And I'm first going to return a container, which will have a width of double dot infinity. Double dot infinity and a height of, okay, so how do we get the screen dimension, uh, I mean the screen size of the, of the, of the mobile that we are using. So this is called media query dot off context. And I'm going to say dot size, and then I'm going to say dot height. And I'm going to say multiplied by uh, 0 0.4 because I wanted to cover 40% of the screen. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just show you how it looks like. So I'm going to say color and the color will be red. And you'll see that this is how it looks like. So this is that container. So any uh, this is going to contain a widget, whatever widget I give into it. So right now I'm going to basically uh, have a decoration. Now decorations are just what they say. That's the decoration of the of the container. So how the container should look like. So I'm going to say box decoration because we, we want a box decoration and we want circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, shape and I'm going to say circle. And it's going to box shape, sh shape circle. And if I do this, then there, you won't see anything because there's no color. So color is going to be black now. And now you'll see something. There you go. Okay, so now comes the... Hmm. Okay, so you might have seen one thing that um, this... This... Um, this... This container is actually uh, actually occupying the entire width of the of the screen, and if I reduce this to something like, let me just get this, and I'll show it to you. You can see that it went over there, like on on the side, like it went towards the left. This is because containers. Uh, calculate from the bottom left. So that's what they do. And by the way, if you have a decoration, then you cannot have a... I think, think if you have a color outside, it is going to basically cause an error. You can, you'll see, see it's in, there's an error. So when you have a decoration, you cannot have a, you cannot have a color, uh, like a color outside of box decoration. So we'll, we'll see how many colors can we have. And unfortunately there's no color except for, oh yes, we need, we'll need a border. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, draw a border because we need this circle to be transparent so we can draw which inside of it. So the border is going to be border dot I believe it was all. Was it border all? Border all. I don't remember what border dot all was. I believe it was uh, yeah color. Of course, color is going to be black. And I'm going to make this uh, transparent. So let's go ahead and take make this transparent oh yeah we've got a border okay so this is how you draw a border and um, now I'm going to increase the width uh, by 2 this is that's not looking very good 5 oh that's looking bad 3 I think 2 is fine okay 
Now we are going to take a look at the alignment. So let's go ahead and align this. So alignment of the of the uh, container, it should be in the middle of the of the screen. So alignment, and we have alignment. Uh, which is over here and what we're going to do is we're again going to take a media query so here we go and we need it to be of a certain width so we're going to just take this and x and y why didn't this happen That's the reason why you have to use a lot of Google when you are basically using Flutter because it's very difficult to memorize everything. So let me just see if alignment over here does anything. Okay, so alignment is basically going to change the alignment of the child. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, how we can make this go slightly up. Okay, so one method of doing this is just what I... Uh, what I did is I just made the width to double dot infinity. Actually, the alignment is basically for the child. So I just turned uh, like made it back into double dot infinity and just reduced the size. So another thing that we can do, let me just uh, show it to you. If I, oh, that's too big. Still too big. Okay, that's fine. Now, another thing that we can do is we can add some padding. So you'll have padding between the between the uh, app bar and this. So edge insets dot all, and we can have a padding of five. Okay, again. So now now I understand. Basically, the alignment that you see over here. The pa sorry, the padding that you see over here, that is for the child, it's not for the, not for the container. The container can have a padding too, by the way. So if I wrap this with a padding, then you'll see that there, there is space between uh, the container as well as the, as well as the, uh, as well as uh, between the app bar and the circle, there is some, there is some space. So I'll add a bit more space by adding it to 15. There you go. And there is a circle, and we'll just draw another circle inside. So the way to draw a circle inside is pretty simple. We'll just use a child, and the child is going to be an icon. And this icon is going to be a icons dot. And for some reason, it takes a very long time for the for these to load, the icons to load. In Visual Studio Code, it takes like, it takes a very small amount of time so you can see that the it's very small so I'm just going to increase it to something like 30 still very small 50 500 that's too big <laughs> uh, 200 uh, ideally you you will basically use the uh, use the media query so let's just go ahead and take a look at the width and um, actually media query dot dot off context and I'm going to say width size dot width and I want this to be about uh, not half of the width it's going to be point two of the width let's take a look why is it returning an error oh yeah sorry invalid constant value okay so this didn't work very well. Let's see, half, nah. Uh, how about four or three? Nope. Uh, three, 33, uh, no, not that. Uh, four, like four is fine. So there you go. There is a there is a circle and inside of it we have a circle. So we can have more fun with this. What we can do is we can also add a, we can also add a column and add a little text underneath so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this padding with a column and a column is going to be well is going to be a bit more fun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 
over here and say widget so I can have that cool little end over here that you can see where it says widget but without it didn't say that and over over outside of padding because we already, ha already have padding I'm just going to return the text and inside the text I'm going to I hope I didn't do get the HTML oh crap this always happens anyway so remember that when you're doing this, make sure that you're doing it from material, not the HTML, because then it's going to be a little weird. And text is going to be, this is a circle. What's wrong with me today? I mean, I'm feeling so sleepy when I'm recording this video, so that's probably the reason why this is happening. Okay, so this is a circle and uh this is how it looks like basically but i want the font size to be slightly larger so i'm going to say font oh uh, style sorry the text style has to be a text style and over here i'm going to just write uh font size and this is going to be 15. not too good about 24. much better and there you go. So another thing that I can do is if I have to move this from side to side, uh, I can also play with cross axis alignment, cross axis alignment dot start. You'll see that it moved to the start, but I want it in the center. So I'm going to say center and it's in the center. So this is how you can play with it. Then you can also play with uh, the flexible widget. So if I go ahead and wrap this with a flexible widget, then if I say flex to, it's going to take, I don't think it's going to take twice of the screen because of the padding, I believe. But usually when you have flexible, uh, what happens is that uh, widgets can actually fight for space. So unfortunately that's not a problem because we have so much space that it doesn't really need any, any more. Uh, I believe if I do flexible one and I'm not sure whether this will work or not, but let's just check. And I can basically do flex three. Yeah, there you go. So this actually took space and that did not. So it took like third of the space. And if I hit two, then it's going to occupy double the space. Didn't do anything. Three, yeah, there you go. So basically flexible allows you to uh, tell the widgets how much space they, they can occupy. There you go, that is how you draw a circle.